Well, about 20 years ago, uh, there was uh, some publicity about uh, Agent Orange and some of the things that was happening and some of the um, uh, illnesses that had been uh, connected with uh, Agent Orange. At that time, it was mostly um, things like um, non-Hodgkin's lymphoma and uh, various kinds of cancers <coughs> were uh, associated with exposure to Agent Orange. It was only uh, <coughs> later that uh, things like diabetes <coughs> and ischemic heart disease were uh, disclosed as being a, a problem. No. When did you first realize you might have been personally affected by this or when was the first signs for you personally? That well, <coughs> I was diagnosed as a diabetic about 20 years ago and uh, about uh, oh, probably 15 years ago uh, there was some talk about uh, diabetes being related to uh, Agent Orange exposures. And of course I knew I'd been exposed. It, it wasn't a question of whether I was exposed or not. I mean, you weren't aware. How aware were you at the time when it was being used of what kind of long-term effects it could have? Was there any? Absolutely none. Uh, for all we knew, it was something that was good for you. Uh, nothing was ever said that, that there might be a problem with this stuff. Well, uh, <clears throat> I really never did ha have any symptoms or anything. My doctor asked me if I'd fast for a blood test, and I said, yeah. And she said, well, your blood sugar is a little bit high. And uh, I, I had a, a friend take my blood sugar, and it was running 180. And she said, I need a glucose tolerance test. I tried to get the VA to give me one. They said, we don't do that. We do H1C, and your H1C is low. But I have hemochromatosis, which affects your H1C. So they kept telling me I wasn't diabetic, but yet my blood sugar was high. And uh, I was finally diagnosed with it. Uh, for. I don't know the exact dates, about 10 years ago. Uh, got it under control, and then it went out of control for like nine months. I was being uh, flip-flopped from one, my, my doctor left, and I was going from one PA to the next PA to a nurse practitioner. <clears throat> Their answer is, here, take this, uh, take this pill, you know, give me more medicine that, I, that I'd already had. And finally, after I squawked enough, I got to see a diabetic uh, nurse practitioner. She put me on insulin and got my blood sugar under control for a short time and then it went, went out of control again. And the VA says, here, take another pill. And finally I got to see an outside endocrinologist who's got my blood sugar under control again now. By now I'm getting, I'm under control. But my, my big complaint is the Marion VA does not have a diabetes clinic to treat us Vietnam veterans the treatment we need to, uh, you know, keep our diabetes in control and keep us healthy. You said it was just 10 years ago that you found out you yeah. did have diabetes. Yeah, that's, maybe even less than that. That's a long span of time. When did the, uh, when did the government finally come clean and say there may be some connection with that to you? Oh, the, I, I went in 1985 and was checked for uh, anything to do with diabetes. And they said, well, you don't have chloroacne, which at that time, chloroacne, cancer. They said, you don't have any spots on your lung. And the other one was impotence. And uh, I never was tested for impotence, so I don't, uh, I don't know if that was the case. Uh, but they said, okay, you know, you, you ain't got no problem. Uh, and at that time, you see, if you wanted to file a claim, you had to be, uh, you just about had to be dead. And when the veteran died, the claim died. And that, that was in 1985. That's whenever they, they really started realizing that there, there was a problem with Agent Orange. And, uh, you know, we, you more or less got on the Agent Orange roster and they sent you a letter every month. And I think they just about quit sending them out now. Uh, well, they said they sprayed us periodically, but it was mostly every day. And you can liken it to a aerosol can, spraying it up in the air. 
and letting it come down. It come down on you, and it. They told us they were killing mosquitoes, and they killed the mosquitoes, and now it's killing us. And I've got three, three things that's directly to Agent Orange. One was diabetes, and uh, the other one is peripheral neuropathy, and the third one is chronic lymphocytic leukemia. Now. Uh, when were you diagnosed with all those? Well, about 20, let's see, 20 years ago, probably diabetes, and then the peripheral neuropathy secondary to the diabetes, and seven, no, four years ago, five years ago, um, chronic lymphocytic leukemia, and um, so now. And the cancer doctor at the VA told me that I was lucky I had a slow killer. So that's where I'm standing now. Uh, how, how, uh, how forthcoming do you feel that the government has been about this uh, problem and how it affects you personally? I was low, waiting on us to die. Because that, I've had the same, probably 10 years I've had the, the, um, same thing wrong with me that I've got now, the, the um, leukemia, but they only, uh, and I went to the cancer doctor at the VA hospital here 10 years ago, and they said there was nothing wrong. And the same, I've got the same symptoms. My blood work was the same, but they didn't, they don't care. They absolutely don't care. We got, Vietnam veterans got treated like crap when we got home, we're getting treated like crap now.